This is the Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. John Smith starts with a wind warning. Yeah, it certainly is going to be windy through the overnight hours and into tomorrow with the strongest winds being across the eastern part of the state. This is all due to a cold front that's going to be sweeping across the state. We may even see a few showers across the northern mountains and into the northeast throughout tonight and into tomorrow as well. Cooler air pours in behind this front, so we will be around 10 to 25 degrees cooler for tomorrow with the biggest cool down being across the eastern part of the state. Then into Wednesday, we start to recover the temperature a little bit. We see more sunshine. We stay on the breezy side and we look for another round of wind on Thursday as another storm system crosses the state. But this one comes from the southwest, so we'll only have a chance at a few spot showers across the state. Despite that, we will continue to see the temperatures warm up into the upcoming weekend. Albuquerque police believe the driver of a car that crashed, killing at least two people last night, was speeding and racing another car. A Lincoln sedan went out of control just south of Louisiana and Central about 8 o'clock, hit some trees, and then crashed into a stone dragon near Tallinn Market. A 20-year-old passenger was dead at the scene. Another passenger, a 17-year-old girl, died at the hospital. The driver, 20-year-old Andres Quintana, and another passenger are both in critical condition. A one-year-old girl in the car survived with minor injuries, which police call miraculous. If Quintana survives, he'll face vehicular homicide and other charges. The other car kept going and has not been found. Fire broke out in the Albuquerque Bosque this afternoon, but this time the wind actually helped to put it out. It was spotted just after 1.30 on the east side of the river near 2nd and Rio Bravo. This is video from Sky News 13. Bernalillo County firefighters quickly beat the flames down and are still mopping up. They got an assist from the wind, which pushed the flames away from the woods toward an alfalfa field that was too wet to burn. About two acres of brush ended up burning. No word on how it started, but human caused is the prime suspect. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.